I have a quick tip for creating 3D or isometric details. Now I learned this a number of years ago, but it's still a great tip and uses a drawing view in conjunction with hypermodeling to create a 3D detail that can be placed on a sheet. So let's see how this is done. First, I have a standard dynamic view of a detail section in my model. Note that the clip volume is clipped on all sides. Now there is a drawing linked to this dynamic view, so let's navigate there. Notes and dimensions have been added to this drawing. Now those will become part of our isometric detail. Now I'll use the marker to navigate back to the model view. This opens the model view and overlays the annotations from the drawing on the model. This is what we call hypermodeling. Now I'm going to use a shortcut Control shift right click to pull up the screen menu for various view rotations and rotate this view to a back left isometric. Now you can start to see how that 3D view conveys more information about the building detail. Since this view is separate from the drawing view, I can change the presentation if needed. For instance, I could use a different display style for the forward view. I have a custom one I created for the project. So let's take a look at that. For instance, I changed the line color to a dark gray. Since this is a detail, I might want to turn on hidden edges. I would like to see the framing purlins behind that glass canopy, but maybe that's a little more line work than I actually want. Another option might be to turn on the transparency threshold since the canopy panels have a translucent material. But now it just appears that there is nothing there. What I would really like is to see the purlins behind the canopy panels in a grayscale. So I tried creating a display rule. I simply set a condition that says if an element is a curtain wall panel of any type, then the display style is changed to illustration ignore lighting. I apply the new rule to my display style and now the framing shows beneath the glass, but in gray line work. So that is the detail I want. I just need to create a saved view and add it to a sheet. Now one thing I need to do is make sure that the notes and dimensions from the drawing will get nested with the model view. By default, the drawing will be set to be ignored when live nesting. I'm just going to open the reference dialog and toggle off ignore when live nesting so that that drawing file gets nested with my view. Now I will resize my view and fit the elements I want in the view window. Then I will go to the view tab and create a saved view. This is just a general view type and I will name it detail at canopy. Now that I have the view saved, I just need to create a sheet and add the view to the sheet. In the new sheet model, I will just drag and drop the saved view from my explorer onto the sheet. Well, I may need to refresh the explorer first. Now I will drag and drop the detail at canopy view and attach it interactively. I'll set the detail scale and I'm also going to set the visible edges to dynamic. This is needed in order to show the display role that I created. Then I simply place it where I want on the sheet and I have a nice 3D detail to add to my drawing set.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.